Hello everyone and welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Rachel aka Skater Moon if you follow me on Instagram and today I'm going to be showing you what's in my skate bag. So here is the bag in question. It's a big old rainbow guy that I got from the Target Kids section actually. <laughs> so it's a nice size. It's really big. It's soft. I like it. So why don't we crack it open and see what's inside. First off, I have what everybody needs all the time in their skate bag is water. <laughs> it's very important to stay hydrated, my friends, especially when you're exercising. So there's that. And let's see, next we have some slip on squishy Wilson pads. I just got these from Walmart. Um, these I really use just if I've kind of already hurt my knee and I'm just taking preventative, you know, like at the rink or something, or if I'm doing like really low impact skating outside, I'll use these. I have some, you know, plastic pads that actually like Velcro on and everything, but those are in a separate bag. So I just keep these in here just in case. Um, another just in case item is my old laces from my candy girls. If you watched my last video, you saw that I pulled these out and, um, well, no, I didn't actually. I went to pull these out, but I, the laces that I had didn't fit. <laughs> so I got some new ones. I'll have to give you all an update on that. They're not next to me right now, otherwise I'd show you. But I got the teal ones and they look really good. And if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Next up, I have some first aid. This is really important for outdoor skating. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've fallen and been like, you know what would be really nice right now? A band-aid, because I'm nowhere near my house. <laughs> so I bought this travel kit by Welly and it just comes with, you know, basic first aid stuff. So band-aids, um, antibiotic cream, there's burn cream in there. I don't know when I would need that, but you never know. So, and I like these because they come in the reusable tins, which leads into my next thing. Apologies in advance, this is really loud. This is an old welly tin that has some bandages in it, and I just hold uh, my old bearings in there now. That's another, you know, you never know situation. Um, the Candy Girl bearings are the Silver S speed rated. I've never seen these like for sale anywhere. I've only really seen them in the Candy Girl skates. So do with that what you will. I didn't really have a problem with them, but I ended up upgrading just because they're old. Hopefully you can't hear that, but I'm gonna shut my door just in case. We have a very old, very loud fridge. So, next up I have um, just some classic Sparkles tube socks that are like five, ten dollars, something like that, just because uh, sometimes you wear socks that don't really agree with your skates and then you're killing yourself for however long your sesh is and I'm not about that life, so. I have very sensitive feet, so it's important that I have like extra socks. And also sometimes when you're skating for a long time, your socks get gross and you have to put shoes on and go somewhere else and just grab an extra pair. And last but not least, we have this glittery guy that I got from Goodwill actually. And this has, well, I'm gonna show. So in here I have mostly tools. So I have my little Moxie skate tool, um, which is good for taking nuts off of wheels and stuff like that. And then I have a T-tool here that I got from Amazon that uh, I got because it has a little screwdriver up top, but it's not the right type of screwdriver for my toe stop. So it is what it is, but. <laughs> You know, it has all, all the other little things that I need. So, and I'm, I don't know, maybe I can find an attachment for the inside. I don't know if it's that serious. 
I usually keep a screwdriver in my car anyway, just because you never know. Um, next, I have a bones bearing puller. I'm sure everybody and their mom has seen this 8,000 times. Um, I really suggest getting this because I used to be that person that was like, eh, you know, whatever, I'll just pop it off, like pop the bearings off on my uh, trucks or whatever. It's no big deal, but uh, it kind of is. I started uh, chipping off stuff on my trucks, so I recommend just going ahead and grabbing one of these. It's also like a heck of a lot easier, so. Um, then I have some grip tape. This is really good for if you're skating for a long time and you don't want to completely tear up your feet. Um, for me, I have bunions and like really high arches and uh, it's just, it can be a mess. Sometimes I'm like tearing my skin, but I'm like, I love this song, so I'm still skating. <laughs> um, and then afterwards you're like suffering for however long it takes to heal. So this stuff is waterproof. So when you wrap it where you tend to get like repetitive injuries or whatever, it doesn't matter if you sweat, it's gonna stay on. So it is really sticky though. So that's why it's in the plastic bag. It doesn't have like container. So there's that. Um, I also have a $5 bill in here. Oh yeah, it's $6. What do you know? Um, I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. That's a just in case item. like. Lose your debit card, six dollars. Um, I also have some, if I can pick them up, clips and a little hair elastic. Um, again, self-explanatory. The clips are especially because I have wavy hair naturally and my bangs will start to do this number when I get sweaty hate it. So that's what the clips are for. Um, and then last but last, hello. <laughs> and then last but not least, I have some extra strength Tylenol just in case, you know, that's pretty much the whole bag is just in case. But anyway, I hope that was interesting. If not, it's cool. <laughs> um, my fiance and I just moved into this duplex with um, his family on the upstairs portion. And most of our time has been taken up with, you know, moving. I've had some shoulder injury going on, so haven't really had a whole lot of skating time. And I just wanted to make some content for y'all. So hopefully you enjoyed it. And, you know, if you have any suggestions, questions, or you just want to hang out in the comment section, shoot me a comment and I will see you next time. Bye.